Hello out there, and today we are taking a look at the Manly Wasp, and this is a knife that is in S90V blade steel. It is a slip joint. It is my first experience with the Manly Company. Um, they are out of Bulgaria, which is my understanding, and this one is on loan to me from my buddy Jack Farmboy, so thanks very much to Jack. I will link to him down below. Some really good stuff from him. Um, I have seen a number of reviews on this knife already, and... Uh, and testing it out and trying it out, I I ended up having, um, I concluded at least, that there's a pretty distinct type of person that this knife is for. And um, while I don't think that it's me, I think that there is a lot of good uh, in this knife, even though to me there are a number of things that are a little bit confusing. So we're going to get into all that stuff uh, especially the steel and the rest of the materials and the build quality. A couple size comparisons to start with. Uh, you might be able to see the numbers near the bottom of the screen. Uh, they're cut off a little bit, but what we have here is a cutting edge that is right around 2.75 inches. S90V is our blade steel. Uh, when it comes to size comparison, other uh, sim similar slip joints, uh, we have the Benchmade Proper. And if you line up the cutting edges, actually, the Benchmade proper has a uh, a longer cutting edge, but a shorter overall length. So interestingly enough, you do get some extra handle with that. Um, my GEC 85, sort of a different kind of, of slip joint here. You know, again, a pretty similar cutting edge actually, but you know, while this is a more traditional, sort of a, uh, a lightweight kind of user, uh, this knife, though it isn't heavy, seems to be built to, to be more of a full kind of EDC, just a slip joint package. And what that leads me to believe is that this is essentially meant for people who live in places where you can't carry a locking knife. Uh, because to me, almost every other aspect of this knife is reminiscent of what you would see in a folder, except for the fact that it just doesn't lock up. All right, getting into some of the details here. What we have is S90V blade steel, and that for me, <laughs> that for me is a little bit of a shocker for a couple reasons. One, um, yes, it is a very super premium blade steel. It's good to see uh, this kind of steel at what I think is a pretty decent price in like the $60 to $80 price range, but, um, but it is odd. And it's odd because for me, this seems to be like a, a, a user knife. And usually when you see something like S90V, the rest of the package is sort of a higher end kind of looking knife. And this is definitely not a, um, you know, definitely not a fancy knife. It's a utilitarian kind of knife. So S90V for me, it's a little bit of a question mark. And, and that's also because of just, it's the... The extreme difficulty, at least, that I have had in maintaining this steel when I've had it in the past. You know, it, it is a lot harder than most other things that you're going to come across. And so if this is a user knife, eventually it will go dull and, you know, it, it might be a bit of a struggle to to get a good edge back on it and to uh, to keep it sharp. So while I do like being able to get this quality steel at a, uh, at a decent price, I do have concerns about it as well. Um, when it comes to the blade, uh, it's a really good looking blade. You can see the number of stops and we'll get back to that. Um, as far as uh, the look of it though, we do have this nail nick right here. I'll tell you right now, the nail nick is pretty much useless. It's not necessary at all. Um, it's not very deep. So if you do have like a good strong fingernail, you can get in there, but you don't need it. I mean, the knife opens very easily. Uh, you know, without the, the nail nick here, and you can actually, like, pop it open just with one hand. So, you know, at least get it started. It does look sort of cool. You sort of have, like, it almost looks like a shark. So if you had another nail nick on the other side, it would actually add to the aesthetics, I think. But, but otherwise, functionally, not really necessary in my estimation. Um, as we move on back, you can see we do have a very small sharpening choil. I'm not an expert sharpener, so I don't know how much of a help that will actually be, but it is good to have that edge actually have a, a finishing point and not run right into a, you know, to where the flat is here. All right, ergonomically, we don't have any jimping, but it is pretty comfortable in hand. Um, I do like the way that it feels. It, it is good for everything that I needed to cut it with. You know, it, it wasn't, um, 
wasn't sharp. There were no real hot spots. The G10 is sort of your standard um, budget kind of G10, really similar to like tenacious kind of G10. Maybe a little bit higher traction, but it's not it's not coarse at all. It it's a little bit grippy, but let me emphasize just a little bit, but it is soft, you know, so I think that it's pretty well done. But again, it does just have a very like standard kind of not really impressive appearance. <laughs> not that it needs to, but again, this just keeps lending me to uh, to believe that this knife is is really just a slip joint user. Let's talk about the all the stops now since uh, since you just saw that. So a lot of knives, a lot of slip joints have, you know, a half stop. So as you close the knife, it stops halfway. And that way, you know, it's just a little bit of protection for you to keep from closing it too fast on your fingers. Gives you an idea of what's going on. You know, here's that GEC again. Same thing. Half stop and then spring takes over right there and closes it. The Manly Wasp, however, it has a three-quarter stop, a half stop, a one-quarter stop, and then it closes. So I'm not a slip joint expert. I don't have very many slip joints, but I've never had one that did this. So, hmm. I don't know, that's not a bad thing and it's not a good thing. I don't see it as necessary and I don't see it as detrimental. It's just a thing, something you definitely need to know. <laughs> as we get to the very back, you can see we do have a nice deep carry pocket clip. It is reversible. You have this tab that um, you could flip to the other side and you know make it an ambidextrous knife and it would be completely ambidextrous because of you know slip joint no locking mechanism so yeah um and seeing that the uh the nail nick really isn't useful um you're going to be opening the knife the same way righty or lefty so that's definitely a good thing um i like the way the knife carries i like the way that the knife feels in hand and i like the price point you know 60 to 80 dollars depending on where you find it um, there is a little bit of an upcharge on a couple of the websites that uh, that I saw just to ship it to the United States because a lot of them are based in Europe. Um, Manly hasn't gotten too much traction stateside yet, so there aren't all. I, I know there's a couple, but I don't think all of like the big distributors are carrying their brand yet, so might be a little bit difficult to find this. There is also a version in I think 12C27 Sandvik steel. Um, honestly, man, I, I don't know what the price difference would be, but I would probably prefer getting the Sandvik just because I know I can maintain it. And this is a knife that, again, this isn't something that is too fancy. I, even though it's a slip joint and it's a good quality slip joint, I don't see it as a gents kind of piece. I see it as a user EDC and I'd rather have something that I had to uh, maintain a little bit more often, but that I knew I could maintain if I'm going to be using a knife that much. You know, if I'm going to have S90V, I want it to be something super fancy. And this isn't that knife, but like I said, it is a good user. And since you do have that steel, it will hold up for a long time. And if you are able to maintain it yourself, then yeah, you're going to have a really, really good knife, a really good slip joint knife at a good price. So that's really my take on it, guys. Any other questions, comments, complaints, suggestions, let me know down below. Have you heard of Manly? Have you uh, picked up any of their knives? What do you think of them? Um, what do you think of a slip joint like this, and what do you use your slip joints for? Answer any of those questions down below. Let's get that conversation started, all right? But thanks again for watching, guys, and take care. Have a good one.